If you're serious about wanting to learn to draw, the very first decision you have to make, it's gonna seem counterintuitive. Put down your pencil and pick up a pen. What? I can hear the cries and moans coming from everybody watching this video. What? Give up a pen, my pencil? Give up my eraser? What if I make a mistake? Well, that's exactly the idea. Making mistakes, it's part of learning. And that's how you make progress. Remember when you first learned to ride a bike? Your dad put on training wheels, your mom held your hand, and eventually, within a pretty short amount of time, you gained your balance and you're riding free and you've been on that road ever since. Well, a pencil's not exactly like that because a pencil isn't just here to be a transitional step for timid beginners. It's an important drawing tool that artists use all the time, but it's not intended to be a crutch. And when you look at artists' pencils, they never have erasers on the other end. That's because as an artist, you don't go into the process of drawing assuming that you're going to make a mistake. You go in to express yourself and to do it clearly and confidently. And a pen allows you to do all these things. A pen is permanent. A pen is bold. A pen is confident. And that's what you need to be as you start to draw, or at least try to be. Even though you're afraid, even though it's new, act like it isn't. Look at your subject until you know decisively what that first line should be. You're confident, then you draw it. You're not sure? Okay, keep looking. The pen is going to force you to slow down. You're afraid to screw up with a pen, so you take your time. You pay more attention, and you tread carefully so you don't draw the wrong line. You look, you think, and then you put that rich, permanent ink down on paper. A worst-case scenario will be you make a mistake. Big deal, it's just paper. No one cares if you waste it. You draw a line where you didn't intend it to be. Again, big deal. What do you do then? You look again and you draw the line again and again and again if you have to. It doesn't matter if your page is a rat's nest thicket of different lines. What you're doing is you're recording what you're able to see. And you are developing neural pathways between your eyeballs, your brain, and your hand. And that takes some doing. It's not going to happen right away. And erasing it isn't going to make it happen any faster. The more you refine how you see by drawing it again and again, the better and more practiced you'll get at it. And the more exact and accurate and in control your line becomes. And meanwhile, each of those lines, each of those failed attempts, it's yet another lesson. Don't erase your lessons. You wouldn't rip the pages out of a textbook. Those lessons are opportunities to accept your imperfection, your humanity, and to show your process of discovery. It's a record of this journey that you're on. The most important thing that a pen is going to give you is it's going to help you to learn to draw better, faster. Just like a baby falls down after taking its first steps, so will you. You might cry, but you'll pick yourself up and you'll try again. If that baby spent its whole life wrapped in bubble wrap, it would never grow. It's really important that you have a sense of confidence, even if you blunder and trip. Keep your eye on the prize. In the long run, you know you will get there. Don't judge every step that you take. Oh no, I slipped, I fell, I didn't do the right thing, I suck, I'm never going to do this. You've got to get away from that thinking and you've got to say, I am going to draw. <laughs> by hook or by crook, I am going to draw and I'm going to screw up along the way. I'm going to have to do it a lot but I'm not going to use any excuses to stop me from trying to be my best at this. I promise you, if you stick to it, you will get there. There's just no question about it. Millions of people have done it before. There's no reason you can't do. But right now, your beginner's mind is going to say, I'm looking for an out. I'm looking for a reason not to push myself, not to work a little hard at it, not to live with some disappointments. You got to get past that. Here's what I notice when people are using pencils as a crutch. They're drawing with a pencil in one hand and an eraser in the other. And they're wearing down their erasers faster than they wear down their lead. Again, they're proceeding with the assumption that they will make a mistake, a mistake that needs to immediately be removed, be denied, be forgotten. But erasing the past is no way to make progress. Sometimes I'll see people making a very light sketch with a pencil 
and then they draw the same line on top of it with a pen and then they erase the pencil lines. And I ask myself, why are you doing that? The only people who need to go through this process of producing a perfect, clean copy are professional illustrators. And at this point, I assume that you are not a professional illustrator yet. You're simply a person learning to draw. So you don't need to do your drawing over again in pen after you've done it in pencil. Don't strive for perfection. Reach for knowledge. Another thing that I see people do is drawing shaggy, hesitant lines. And that means that they're afraid to commit. So they draw shaggy line, 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 rather than choosing the correct path. They wouldn't do that with a pen. They wouldn't stammer and stutter. They would just say what they had to say. Just draw that first line with a pen. You don't need all these hesitations and approximations. You don't need the safety net. Your drawings don't need to be perfect. Act as if you are bold, confident, an artist. Channel that big swinging pen energy. Be it. Pencils make soft, gray, smudgy lines. And sometimes that's how you want to express yourself. A lot of great artists have used this medium. But that's going to come later. For now, aspire to make bold, confident lines that evoke who you are at your best. Even if they're wonky, it doesn't really matter. What matters is you're trying, you're working, you're developing your skills, you're developing your perspective. Throw away all those drawings if you want to or put them in a drawer and look at them one day so you can see how far you've come. Don't erase them. Don't shred them. Don't worry about them. They are just the raw fodder for the great drawer and artist you're going to become. Got it? Okay, I'm glad. Now put away your pencil, sit up straight, smile confidently, and grab your pen. Have fun.